Be ready. For another 100 second challenge, I'm about to show you how to add 5s to your project in under 100 seconds. Sounds too good to be right? Well, stay with me for the next 100 seconds and I'll prove it to you. All right, it's time to start the clock. First up, we need to install the Firebase CLI. Now for you Windows user, go ahead and download the Firebase CLI binary for Windows. If you are on Mac or Linux, you have the super convenient option called Install Automatic Script. That means all you need to do is run a single command and it will take care of the rest. Here's the command. Let's copy it and head over to the terminal. All right, bear with me for a moment as it takes a bit of time to complete the process. As you can see, it says all done. Once the CLI is installed, it's essential to authenticate next. To do that, simply type Firebase login and it will open up a new browser tab for you to choose which Google account you would like to use. So let's get logged in and move forward. Now let's put the CLI to the test by displaying all the projects we have created in this account. We'll do this by running the Firebase project list command. Voila, there we have it. All the projects are now shown up. Moving on, we need to activate the Flutter Fire CLI by executing this command. As you can see, there is a warning, but don't worry. To resolve it, we simply need to add a path to our shelf config file. Let's go ahead and open the file, paste the path, save, and exit. Now let's download the Flutter Shop UI kit. For learning purpose, the free version will work just fine. But for this demonstration, I'll using the full version. Once you have got it, open it in your favorite IDE, navigate to the pubspec.eml file, and add the Firebase Core package. Head over to the terminal and ensure you are in the project directory. If you are using VS Code, by default, you should already in the right spot. Next, run the Flutterfire config command. You have the option to use existing project or create a new one. For this demo, let's create a new project and name it Fluttershop 100 second challenge. As it creates the project, we'll select the platform we want to use. As you can see, it configure everything for us. Of course, I wanted to upgrade the build gradle file and apply the Firebase configuration because, well, I'm lazy. Upon checking the lib directory, you'll notice a new file called firebaseoptions.dir generated by the Flutter Fire CLI. Pretty cool, right? Now let's head back to the main.dirt file. Next, we'll convert the main function to an asynchronized one and initialize Firebase using the default Firebase option. Finally, we're done with our Firebase integration. In upcoming videos of my 100 second series, I'll demonstrate how to add a sign up feature in under 100 seconds. See you. Bye.